Hey folks, your OS Reviews, you're watching our video first look and first impressions review of the Sucru. This is an interesting kit, uh, which is like a moldable glue. It's uh, like Play-Doh when it's actually not completely dry, but when it is dry, it acts just like hardened rubber or a, a piece of plastic. So you can use it to fix either cables that are frying for maybe headphones or charging accessories to make them last a little bit longer. They can also be used to create DIY, let's say, casings for cameras, for smartphones and add different uh, various pieces onto controllers just to make them easier to use when you're playing games, for instance. So there's a ton of different applications for this and uh, it is fairly rugged and durable once it has been uh, molded into place after you've waited, let's say, 48 hours. So what I have in front of you today is the Rebel Tech Kit, which is uh, a pretty decent alternative. You want to just try it out for the first time, maybe as a uh, stocking stuffer in the holiday season. And it retails for about 10 pounds from Sukuru's website. And it comes with a set of various colors and they are tiny little packets of glue that you can then customize uh, in various ways. Um, otherwise, the company itself, the name comes from the Irish word for uh, play and again it has 10 different colors in terms of the options and they come in various packages as well. Um, they're pretty durable, they can stick to aluminum, ceramics, glass, wood, any materials really it will bond to and uh, remain flexible at first but afterwards harden into place. So let's take a quick look at the packaging here. You can see there is an uh, expiration date on the bottom here. That's something to keep in mind. And again, some applications will be making your charging cables a bit more durable and thick. This is one for the controller. This is one where it adds some protection to a phone. So if you don't want to put a phone case on and you drop it, it's going to impact the glue part first. Here's another one which adds a, a child-proof component to a camera, so if you do drop it or your child drops it, it's not going to damage the lens. In the Rebel Tech Kit, we have access to a tin can with a company logo on it, a Sukru remover, which kind of reminds me of a guitar pick, and there's also the aforementioned four colors that you can try out. So a few other details can be found on the inside. Again, 24 hours, you do have the weight. Um, it's moldable, it's uh, salt waterproof, completely waterproof, shock resistant. So it's not gonna damage any circuit boards if you are trying to maybe add something to a Raspberry Pi or something, um, electrically insulating as well. So the back, some other details in terms of how you mold it into place. Managing cables on the back, another cool application. So let's open this up. And it seems like we have just the tin can with the aforementioned various colors as well as a quick start guide that is documented in full color. Tells you how to set up uh, various, you know, it gives you a few ideas of what you can do with this, how to roll it into shape, use it like a Play-Doh, use a toothpick uh, to place a center here if you want to use it as a cable manager and pop it onto the sides. And so there's various very creative ways for you to use this. Um, it can also add texture and it's apparently very strong, so capable to hold all those things together. Anyways, let's take a quick look at the 10 can next. Let's pop this out of the plastic cardboard component here. See that this part is kind of stuck. There we go. This is going to be great. And we have the aforementioned four colors. So we have a classic red, we have pitch black, uh, we have a snow white as well as silver gray. So you can kind of customize the color if you want to match it with a specific cable or a product that's a damage and so on and so forth. Here is a remover, which is just a plastic stick. And the tin itself protects, I guess, the, the different uh, types of colors when you're not using it so it doesn't dry up as, as quickly. So doing a quick demo here, I have, uh, let's say, a, a cable here, a pair of headphones, and what's happened to these headphones is the part with the 3.5 millimeter jack has actually popped off, and as a result, you can kind of see the circuitry underneath, and obviously this isn't great because over time, the cable might fry a bit more easily. The headphones themselves still work, so I'm thinking maybe this is worth saving, and I'm going to try to save it using Sagru by maybe attaching uh, either removing this part completely and just attaching in a layer of that rubber or using the rubber to make this arm fixed in place. So obviously you can match it with any color. I'm going to try using, uh, let's say, gray for today. And pop. All right, so as we peel this back, it seems like part of it is a little bit stuck on the sides of the container. Hopefully, just like Play-Doh, I can then adhesive it back together by kind of uh, playing around with it a few times. It should be non-toxic as well, just, just like rubber. 
So right now it is extremely soft. It does remind me quite a bit of Play-Doh, a bit stickier actually in terms of texture. Um, so that's something to note. Um, otherwise, again, it's like clay, it's like Play-Doh. It can be molded into various shapes, leaves an imprint as well. So if we want to try fixing the headphone here really quickly, uh, let's say, let's see, what do I want to do? Do I want to just put this over here or make a secondary part? All right, let's go with just putting it over it. So in order to do that, I'm just gonna maybe mold this around a few times, pop this at the base perhaps, and All right, so indeed, just like Play-Doh, you can roll it around, create different shapes with it, mold in your hands, create different textures, and a bit of a jump cut, I finish with the wire. It's not the most elegant thing in the world, but you can see here that I attempted to make it more of a square shape so that it won't roll around when a, on a surface or a desk. Obviously, I have to be patient now, and only time will tell whether this is a very effective way, whether the plastic's, plastic is actually rigid, uh, but it's a bit more challenging than I thought. You can roll it around to like little balls and then, and then perhaps flatten it out, use various tools like a ruler just to maybe cut out pieces, but it takes some time to get used to, and the extremely modern and elegant looking images here um, take a bit of time to get used to and to practice. I also tried doing the bumper, so I had some leftover uh, gray colored Sukuru and I put it onto this phone. You can see here that I attach it onto one on either side so that when it's on a surface or a desk, it's not going to touch the camera first. It's going to protect it a little bit. I also tried doing a bit more of imprints on it, so I used the ruler to create a few different marks just to play around with the texture and so that hopefully after it dries, it's a bit more visually interesting. So overall, that's a quick sample of what Sukuro can do. And, and in fact, it does seem to be quite an interesting product if you are into creating and customizing your own tech this could be something to check out it also is a nice fix so the other applications include maybe even uh, repairing shoes so if there are holes on it it's going to be waterproof fixing uh, rubber seals and washing machines and so on and so forth so quite an interesting product you can check out more details about the sukuru in our official rin review which is coming out soon but for now this has been our video thanks for watching here at os reviews this is sukuru moldable glue the rebel tech tech